Empathy is the glue that holds all our interactions together. It's more than just feeling for people. It's feeling with them. This understanding and sharing of another person's emotions is a vital part of our everyday lives. It's a tool that not only benefits our mental health, but also has physical advantages. It's important to note that empathy is not sympathy. Empathy is about truly comprehending and sharing someone else's feelings, not just expressing sorrow for their situation. Just like a muscle, empathy can be strengthened with regular practice. Let's dive into eight exercises to develop your empathy. Exercise one, practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment allows us to truly connect with others. Mindfulness is a powerful tool that helps us focus on the feelings and experiences of the other person. By quieting our own thoughts and distractions, we can attune ourselves more closely to their emotions. Techniques such as meditation or deep breathing can help us cultivate this state of mindfulness. So breathe in, breathe out, and simply be. Remember, mindfulness is not about doing, it's about being. Exercise two, imagine others' experiences. Walk a mile in their shoes, so to speak. By putting ourselves in other people's shoes, we open ourselves up to understanding their feelings and perspectives. This practice is more than just guessing what they might be going through. It's about acknowledging their emotions, their struggles, and their joys. This exercise is not about assuming, but about understanding. It's about opening our hearts and minds to the possibility that their experience is as real and as valid as our own. By imagining others' experiences, we can better understand their perspective. Exercise three and four, active listening and observing nonverbal cues. Empathy is not just about talking, it's about listening. To truly understand someone, you must listen to their words, their tone, and notice their body language. It's about being present and engaged. To improve your active listening skills, Try to clear your mind and focus solely on the person speaking. Avoid formulating a response while they're still talking. Instead, allow their words to sink in. Now, observing nonverbal cues is equally crucial. It's like reading between the lines. Look for facial expressions, gestures, and body language. They often reveal feelings that words might not. Remember, communication is much more than just words. Exercise five and six seeking different perspectives and asking thoughtful questions. Empathy is about understanding, not agreeing. Think about this. When you engage with others, are you truly open to their views or are you merely waiting for your turn to speak? Seeking different perspectives doesn't mean you have to agree with them. It's about broadening your understanding and seeing the world through another's eyes. Now let's talk about asking thoughtful questions. It's more than a simple, how are you? It's about delving deeper showing genuine interest in others' experiences. Remember, every question is an opportunity to learn, to connect, to empathize. By seeking to understand, we can show empathy even when we disagree. Exercise seven and eight, seeking feedback and offering support. Empathy is a two-way street. To boost our empathy muscles, we must be open to feedback. It's about asking others how we've made them feel and then being receptive to their responses. It's a step that requires courage and humility, but it's invaluable in refining our empathetic skills. Now, on to offering support. This isn't about swooping in to save the day. Rather, it's about validating others' feelings, being there for them, and providing what they need in that moment. It might be a listening ear, a comforting word, or simply your presence. This act of support can make others feel valued and understood. Remember, empathy is about giving and receiving. Empathy is more than just a skill. It's a way of connecting with others on a deeper level. Let's recall the eight exercises. Practicing mindfulness, imagining others' experiences, active listening, observing nonverbal cues, seeking different perspectives, asking thoughtful questions, seeking feedback, and offering support. Make these a habit. From Coach AOG, remember to always have an excuse to succeed. If you want more videos like this, please, Subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you.